Honorable Minister of Women and Children Affairs and your delegation from Ethiopia, Chief Gender Monitor, UN Women Country Representative, representatives from development partners here present, distinguished stakeholders from government institutions, civil society organizations, media, private sector, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the government of Rwanda, the Ministry of Gender and Family Promotion, and on my behalf, I would like to welcome you all to this important stakeholders consultative workshop on gender, women empowerment related SDGs domestication. Before I continue with my speech, I would like to welcome our special guest here present, the delegation from Ethiopia led by the minister. <laughs> Thank you. She, she is with other uh, delegates. Please, you may stand up for recognition. <laughs> Thank you. The objective of this workshop is to have a common understanding on SDGs, especially SDG 5 and other related gender and women empowerment indicators and targets for other goals to establish future working relationships, uh, working relations to ensure that gender related SDGs are effectively implemented and a success. Domestication of sustainable development goals seek to change the course of the 21st century, addressing key challenges such as poverty, inequality, and violence against women and girls. The, gov the government of Rwanda is fully committed to implementing the SDGs adopted in September 2015, and in order to address and customize the SDGs effectively, we need to be inclusive. To addict gender inequality, we need to broaden the base of stakeholders that are involved in addressing the issue. Therefore, I call upon a significant involvement of all concerned institutions in the implementation of SDGs. Jeprof, the Ministry of Gender and Family Promotion alone cannot realize gender and women empowerment ambitions of SDGs without the collective efforts of its stakeholders. Drawing out lessons from the implementation of gender and women empowerment related targets in EDPRS 2 and MDGs, a review has been undertaken to inform gender mainstreaming targets in a national transformation strategy. More likely, this workshop will contribute on the ongoing process to further domesticate SDGs priorities in both medium and long-term targets. Honorable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, the localization of the Agenda 2030 shall be a, a multi-dimensional process that requires facilitation at, at all levels through civil society, private sector, governmental, and as well as non-governmental actors. Nonetheless, achieving gender equality and sustainable development by 2030, we require stepping up efforts at all fronts. Gender equality and women's empowerment is a substantial necessity if we want to achieve the SDGs. Achieving gender equality is the best way to make progress on nearly all of the SDGs and to build a universe where everyone can prosper. 
in Rwanda, promoting gender equality and the women empowerment is not only a fundamental human right, but also a, a necessary foundation principle for sustainable development. The government has provided women and girls with equal access to education, health care, decent work, and the representation in the political and economic decision-making processes that have fueled to our sustainable econ economy and advanced our society with humanity at large. However, despite huge efforts and achievements made in promoting gender equality and the women's empowerment, challenges still exist. For instance, inequalities still exist in the labor market, hence, um, hence among other factors leading to poverty cycle among female-headed uh, households. Gender-based gender violence is still a subject of concern in our society. An equal division of unpaid care and domestic work all remain barriers that often result from patriarchal attitudes and related social and cultural norms. By eradicating the, abo uh, the above mentioned challenges, more collective efforts, joint strategies need to be strengthened. Honorable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, I in my conclusion, uh, as I said before, this workshop will help us to have a common understanding on gender-related SDGs targets and indicators, as well as clear roadmap and work plan for stakeholders' engagement to influence further domestication, implementation, and the monitoring of gender-related SDGs. Please remember that keep keeping gender equality and the women's empowerment at the center of our development efforts will be key to the success of Agenda 2030. Central to this is addressing the rights and the needs of women and men to an extent of no one being left behind in our developmental progress. The Ministry of Gender and Family Promotion shall ensure that institutions of the national gender machineries continue working closely with you all and provide support where necessary and endorse awareness on the SDGs. With these uh, words, allow me to wish you fruitful deliberations. I now take this opportunity to declare that this consultative meeting is now open and welcome you all, your unreached ideas and thoughts. Uh, it's now time to give a moment for our special guest to deliver a few words to this audience. Thank you very much. <laughs> Honorable Minister, you are welcome.